Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Manifesting Secrets. My name is Krisha Love. I am a manifestation coach here to help you get rid of your limiting beliefs so that you will have the life that you deserve. If you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell notification so that you will be alerted when I upload more videos like these. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to turn it up a notch, email me right now at lovelysecret90 at gmail.com. Also check out my Facebook group. I'll leave everything in the link below. All right, so we are gonna talk about how to control your thoughts, all right? Since all of this shit revolves around our thoughts, our manifestation revolves around our thoughts, getting our specific person revolves around our thoughts. And if that is the thing that is keeping you from getting your specific person, then that's what we need to talk about today. So right now, you know what time it is. I need for you to enter into the boss the fuck up zone where we are not playing no games. We are gonna come straight forward. We're gonna go head first with our thoughts. We're gonna make sure that we have our thoughts in check so that we will get what we want, period. All right, so now, so like I said, so there is scientific fact that your thoughts create, you heard it all before, your thoughts become things. This is how you manifest your specific person. This is how you get the dream job. This is how you get the weight loss. This is how you get everything. Everything in this whole world revolves around our thoughts. You know, like I said in my latest video, that if you look around you right now, take a moment and look around you, you see every fucking thing started from your thoughts. All right? So that is the magic. That is the power. This is how we get what the fuck we want. All right. So now that we know that we got that down, you wrote it down. All right. Let's move on. So how do we control our thoughts? What does that look like? What, how do we, you know, keep the negative thoughts out, you know, and keep them from manifesting and showing up some shit that we don't want, you know? So that's what we're going to talk about today. <clears throat> so this is how I do it and hopefully it can help you. So let's just say, you know, you're going about your day, you know, you're chilling, you know, you're cooling it, you know what I'm saying? And then... Here come that old creepy ass negative thoughts want to come up and start telling you, uh, your specific person didn't answer the phone because they don't like you anymore or they're not thinking about you or, you know, there's somebody out there better than you that they are probably interested in or, you know, maybe you just not the person for them or you just, they just don't want you no more. They played you, they use all that bullshit. Okay, so, so we're going to scratch all that. When a negative thought come in, I want you to address it like a boss. First off, I want you to flatline that shit because you can only think one thought at a time. So why don't you replace it with a positive thought? Okay? Because like I said, you can only think one thought at a time. So if you have a negative thought come in, go ahead and change the channel. Like you got a remote. If you're watching something on TV or listening to something on the radio that you don't fucking want to hear, what do you do? Whoop! Change that shit, right? So that's what you're going to do with your negative thoughts thoughts like a boss okay you want to change it to a more positive thought like you know what my specific person love you know they love me they adore me you know they want to be with me you know i am their ending and their last i'm their fucking beginning we'll be together forever you know type shit you know that's what you want to start saying i want you to start saying your shit like this um, he's in love with me. He needs me. He's weak for me. He has to have me. He wants me. He only wants me. He needs me. He wants me. He... So when you're having your thoughts, this is how you want to go in for the kill when you're saying your affirmations to keep your negative thoughts the fuck out. Okay. So you want to start saying my specific person is in love with me. He needs me. He wants me. He has to have me. I am the last person that he will ever want. I am the last person that he ever want to be with. He is constantly thinking about me. She misses me. She always want to be around me. She has to want me. She is weak for me. She is in love with me. I am the only person that she want to be with. She loves my energy. She needs my energy. She loves being around me. People love being around me. They have to have me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just a fun loving person. People love me every day. Our love is going stronger and stronger. Oh my God. They want me. They need me. They have to have me. They're weak for me. They are 
infatuated with me. They're obsessed with me. You know what I'm saying? So you just keep going on and 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 you feel that fire, you know, just building up in you when you're saying it. And it just becomes like so it gives it so much strength and so much power when you do it like that. Like I do it like that, like all the time. Like I'm just maybe like doing my makeup and I'm like, he's in love with me. He needs me. He wants me. He's weak for me. He has to have me. He'll be with me forever. I'm the last person he will ever want. So that's what you do. And you just drill it, drill it, drill it, drill it, drill it. And you're saying it so fucking fast. Guess what? I don't, I don't have no negative thoughts because I'm going so fast. My negative thoughts cannot enter into the boss the fuck up zone. See, look, you guys may have been crying, feeling weak, feeling sad over your specific person. And you know what? We all want love. But I just don't get why you allow some person to make you feel like this when I'm telling you, you have the fucking power. You've been having the fucking power. You have the control. So I need you to stop that shit right the fuck right now. Do you hear me? Right now. Because right now we are bossing the fuck up and we are making this shit happen. And we're going to say our affirmations and we're going to say them quickly. He's in love with me. He's weak for me. He has to have me. He adores me. He's always thinking about me. He missed me. I'm the only person he will ever want forever. We are going to be together forever. Unless I decide I want to change it. Because, hey, I'm the fucking boss. And we are the only person giving orders. All right? That's how you control your thoughts. And in another way. You can greet your thoughts positively. So if a negative thought come up, oh, they don't want to talk to you. They're ignoring your call. Say, you know what? I appreciate you for showing up, but I would like to change you into a better thought. Something like they are thinking about me right now and they will call me back. That's how you do it. Address your thoughts. You know, greet it positively. If you don't, if you don't have the power right now to flatline that shit like I do and you will get there. And if you're not there yet, it's okay. Just agree to it and say, you know what? I appreciate you for showing up, but I would rather like to entertain the thought that they are thinking about me, that his ass is in love with me, that he knows that we will be together forever. Like that, period. And when you do it like that, you address it like a boss, guess what your negative thoughts will say? You know what? You right. Guess what my negative thoughts say? Kreisha, yeah, you right. He is thinking about you. <laughs> like the fuck he is period i know and that's how you be with confident every day all day bossing the fuck up every day that's what we're doing here okay all right you guys i felt like i just wanted to come on here and share that with you hopefully it helps you today and uh let's get to work i will see you guys in the next video bye